Hi friends, welcome to Church at Home. I'm Elena and I am so excited to continue our series with you called Against All Odds. We are looking at some epic battles in the Bible where somehow against all odds, they won because they had God on their side. We all face different battles in life. Those are tough things like problems in your family, fights with a friend, sickness or pain, or even our own sin is a battle we're up against. And let me be honest with you, you don't have what it takes to fight those battles alone. None of us do. That's why today's one thing is so important. The one thing I wanna make sure you hear is this. God's strength is enough for your battles. God is stronger than any ruler or army on earth and his son Jesus rules over God's kingdom. He is the king of all kings. We can trust that our king is stronger than our battles. Let's stand up and praise our King Jesus together. We're gonna sing a song called King Jesus. We lift our praises, we lift our hands to the only king there is. Let's sing together. I'll raise my hands in worship. I'll use my mouth to sing. And with my whole heart, Jesus, I believe. Jesus, your faith. praise. Sing for me. For me, you died on the cross, then rose for all to see. You have my whole heart, Jesus. I believe you are with God in heaven, but you're still close.
We can sing our praise to King Jesus because He is bigger and stronger than any battle we face. Because of Jesus, we have direct access to God. He's with us even in the battles and His strength is enough for whatever we're facing. And today's Bible story is an amazing example of God's strength. Remember, the Bible is God's holy book. It tells us real stories about real people and places from a long time ago. Its truths never change and it teaches us how to live God's way. So let's check out this real story about a real battle. Don't miss what happens because of God's strength and it might not be what you expect. Let's watch. Slapstick Theater, Gideon's 300 Men. This is Gideon, hey. who was a judge of Israel. In the time when Gideon lived, a group of people called the Midianites were taking over the Israelites' land. Get out of here! And the Israelites were starving. Yeah. So the Israelites asked God for help. God chose Gideon to rescue the Israelites Hello, everybody. and gave him the power to lead an army of Israelites. Yeah, yeah. One day, Gideon and his army got up early and came close to the Midianite camp. God told Gideon that he had too many warriors with him. Really? So God told Gideon to let all the men who were scared go home. All right, uh, you can go home. Phew. So 22,000 men went home, and Gideon was left with only 10,000. But God told Gideon that he still had too many men with him. Uh, what, really? He told Gideon to bring the men down to the water and that God would give them a test. Okay. Gideon did as God asked, and then God said, divide the men in two groups. In one group, Put all those who cup water in their hands and lap it up with their tongues like dogs. In the other group, put those who kneel down and drink with their mouths in the stream. Only 300 men drank from their hands. God told Gideon, with these 300 men, I will rescue you and give you victory over the Midianites. Send all the others home. So Gideon did as God said. You can go home. That night, God told Gideon to get up and go down to the camp to listen to what the Midianites were saying. Hey, Pura, let's go! Gideon and his servant Pura went down to the camp and saw the huge army. There were too many men and camels for Gideon to even count. Oh, that's a lot of camels. But Gideon heard a soldier telling another man about a dream he had that showed them that God would give Gideon victory over the Midianites. When Gideon heard this, he worshipped God. Come on! Then Gideon and his army of 300 men went down to the Midianite camp. They blew their horns and held torches in their hands. They yelled out and the Midianite soldiers rushed around in a panic and tried to escape. Then God caused the Midianites to start fighting against each other. Because of God's power, Gideon and his army had victory over the Midianites that day. Wow, that story is proof that God's strength and God's plans are so much bigger and better than ours. Gideon's army of only 300 men won that battle against a huge army. That's amazing. Gideon didn't think he had the strength to go up against that army. He didn't think he was a good leader, but God kept making his army smaller and smaller to prove that it didn't matter how strong Gideon or his army was. All that mattered is how strong God is and if Gideon would trust him to fight the battle. Do you trust God's strength is enough for your battle? God works in ways that might surprise you, but we can trust that he knows what he's doing and he's strong enough for your battles. Our Bible verse reminds us that we don't have to fight alone. Joshua 1.9 says, This is my command. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Let's sing out a song called Wherever You Go and think more about our Bible verse as we praise God for being with us in our battles. Hey guys, this song is called Wherever You Go and it's about how Jesus is with us no matter what we're facing in life. Let's sing it out together. 
That song reminds us that we can have courage in our battles because God is with us. He's fighting our battles in His strength, and we can depend on Him. We are about to see a different kind of battle in today's episode of Versus, the show where Annalise and Logan battle it out each week to see who's the ultimate Versus champ. As they go head to head in today's ping pong pickup challenge, they'll also teach us more about everything we've been learning about how God's strength is enough in our battles. Let's watch. What's up, friends? My name is Annalise. And I'm Logan. And this is Versus, where we are battling it out with some head-to-head -head competition each week to see who will be the ultimate champ. And we're doing all this while talking about some epic battles in the Bible and how we can face the battles in our lives, too. So, you ready? Oh, it's on. This is Versus! Are you up for a little versus warm up today? Yeah, sure. What are we doing? Are we doing like stretches? Like I've been working on the hammies. Oh, no, 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 no. Arms up. Okay. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> hey! Okay, no, best two out of three. Go again. Okay, okay, okay. fine. Ready? Yep. <laughs> All right, one, one more. more, come one on. One more. <laughs> Go down! I should have wow. picked a different wow. warm up. Well, at least today isn't a battle of strength, but we're talking all about strength today, so isn't it about who's the strongest? But it's not our strength, it's God's. Remember our one thing today says, God's strength is enough for your battles. It actually doesn't even matter if you're strong enough to fight your own battles. All that matters is God's strength. That's right. Just think about Gideon's army. He had 32,000 men. That's some serious strength but God kept cutting his army down again and again until he was left with only 300 men and a huge battle to face. But against all odds, Gideon's army still won. How? Definitely not because they were big enough, strong enough, or had enough men, but because God was on their side. 
They trusted in God's strength to fight their battles. God made sure that there was no doubt who was gonna win this battle. It wasn't in the power that they'd win, but only in God's power. And you might be facing a battle too. This series is all about the different tough things that we have going on in our lives, like sickness, fights with friends, or problems in our family, divorce, moving, even things like our own sin, the things that God says are wrong. You don't have to have strength to defeat those battles on your own, but against all odds, we can still see a victory because God is on our side. He works in unexpected ways. Even when Gideon thought his army was getting weaker and weaker, God was actually making them battle ready. He gave them exactly what they needed to fight their battle, even if it didn't quite make sense. <laughs> That's right, and God gives you what you need too through prayer, through spending time in your Bible, through talking with adults you trust who love Jesus and church leaders, through the power of the Holy Spirit, God's strength is with you. So, do you think you can tap into some of that strength and win today's battle, Logan? Of course, but it's gonna be a totally different kind of battle. This is a battle of skill, speed, agility, and a battle of wills. Check it out. Okay, so there's one minute on the clock. We have to pick up as many ping pong balls as possible and put them into the bucket. Oh, okay, easy enough. While we're keeping these balloons up in the air the whole time. Oh, okay. Whoever gets the most ping pong balls in the bucket before your timer runs out or before your balloon touches the ground is the champion. All right, you ready? Ready. Three, two, one, go. Oh, oh, okay, I almost come lost on. it. No, 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 no. Okay, I'm no, getting it, staying. I'm getting it. No! Don't get away from me. Okay. Come on. Okay. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh no. I keep on doing it. No, no, no. Oh! Headshot. No, no. Oh! Oh! oh. Get, get away from my balloon! Don't touch my balloon! No, no, no! There we go. I figured it out. No! I almost lost it. I can redeem this. Okay. Stay up. Stay up. Come on. Oh, no. No, these aren't mine. Stay away. Is that a okay. timer? Okay, good game, but I think it's time to see who the real winner is and count our ping pong balls. Okay, ready? Yep. One, two, three, four, five. Hundred eight, hundred nine, and one hundred and ten. It was a Victory! close one. <laughs> Oh man, oh. I really thought I was gonna take that one home today, but good game. Good game. Good game. Good game. Uh, you know, not everyone who faces battles in the Bible saw victory either. In fact, God might never stop the battle we are facing in the way we want, but while we wait, He is with us. He gives us His peace to continue facing the hard things. So I know that through Him, I can have the courage to keep facing my battles. That's right. And next time, you'll get the chance in another episode of Versus! Bye! That was so impressive. Picking up all those ping pong balls seemed impossible, but all Logan and Annalise could do was try their best to get the victory. In the battles we face in life, it's impossible to get the victory on our own. All we can do is try our best and trust God to give us what we need. He is the only one who has the power to stop a battle. And if he doesn't choose to stop the battle right away, or if we don't get the victory we want, he gives us his peace and his presence to continue facing the hard things. In God's strength, every battle will be won one day in heaven because God has the final victory and everything will be good and perfect in heaven. So let's spend some time talking to God right now. Lord, thank you for being with us in the hard things we face. You are stronger than any of our battles, and we believe that you will give us what we need to face these tough situations. Help us trust you. We love you. Amen. Well, thanks for joining us today, friends. Remember the one thing, God's strength is enough for your battles. See you next time.